Hi everyone, welcome to Fit Tip Friday. So today we're going to be working on flexibility. It's generally the weakest component that anyone has, any members in the gym or any sports people that I've come across previously in my career. Flexibility seems to be the weakest component, unless they're a gymnast obviously, uh, and they work on that as part of their career. So what we're going to do today is we're going to work on specifically what's known as PNF stretching, preproceptive neuromuscular facilitation as it's known. And we're going to use what's known as the contract and relax method. So we're going to work on the lower limb today and the lower back. So principally we're going to be working on the quads, hamstrings, glutes and get some range of motion into that hip area as well as obviously stretching off the lower back because the hamstrings connect into the glutes and lead into connecting with the lower lumbar back region area. So the only equipment you're actually going to need today is going to be uh, a belt, either a dressing down belt or, or uh, just a, a normal belt will do, um, a towel and either a 5 litre or a 2 litre water bottle just to add a little bit of weight to help with one of the stretches. So initially what we're going to do now is we're going to have a dynamic warm up. So 10 squats with extended arms to start with nice and steady, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, Four, three, two, one. Right, we're going to have a 30 second job on the spot, just 30 seconds. Get that blood flow nice and relaxed. Okay, raise your knees a little. Halfway there, keep it nice and steady, that blood flowing. Five, four, three, two, one. Easy it down. Now we're going to go for ten star jumps. Off we go. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Okay. Do that all over again. So 10 squats, extending your arms, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Okay, 30 second jog. Okay, this time you're gonna to touch your heels to your hands. Activate your quads. Heels to hands. That's good. 10 more seconds, nice and steady. Five, four, three, two, one. Lastly, ten more star jumps. Off we go. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Okay, just shake yourselves out. That should put the blood flowing. Warm you up a little bit. So essentially, first stretch we're going to do is a sumo squat. We're going to use the five litre water bottle that I've got here to help me get a greater range of motion. So my range of motion just to show you to start with when I squat is generally about here without any additional weights. So it's not even just about get, getting parallel 90 degrees because my glutes and my lower back are very very tight. So what we're going to do is we're going to hug the five litre water bottle, so we've got a bit of added weight. What we're going to do is we're going to take it down and hold it for a count of eight. 
Okay, so just squat down, 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 down. Hold it for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. We can relax it back up. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now we're going to take it down, try and get a little bit deeper into it. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Take it up for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Down for eight, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, up for eight, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, one last time, down for eight, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, okay, bring it up. So it's evident from my starting range of motion, you can see that I've actually increased my range of motion with that stretch. So that's working your glutes and just basically opening up and giving you a greater range of motion in your hips. Next stretch that we've got is a seated stretch for your hamstring. So you'll need your belt for this stretch. I'm going to go on a diagonal so you can see how I've got my leg that I'm not stretching. So, we're going to tuck that leg in, so again you're going to be working your abductor muscles here and trying to get those, a bit of range of motion on those, and then you're going to take your belt or your towel, hook it around the instep of your foot. So again with this stretch, now you can see how I'm set up with this, we're going to turn it sideways. With this stretch you're looking to keep your back nice and straight, chin up, and again it's going to be 8 seconds contracting, 8 seconds relaxing. So just walk your hands in and just hold it there. 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Walk it back. 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, two, one, take your hands a little bit further, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, relax it back, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, take it in even further, hold it, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and relax it back for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one last stretch, take it as far as you feel comfortable. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Okay, swap out the legs. Same again, tuck that leg in. Nice straight back. Hook the belt over the instep of your foot. Four sets of an eight second count on this leg again so just take it in slightly eight seven six five four three two one relax it back eight seven six five four three two one take it in a little further eight seven, six, five, four, three, 
two, one, relax it back, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, take it in further still, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, relax it back for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, one last time, take it as far as you feel comfortable, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Okay, so that's the hamstrings and the adductors at the same time. Next stretch we're gonna go for is a kneeling quad stretch. This is gonna work your hip flexors and also your quads. So, if I just get this in position, hopefully you're able to see if I move a bit further down here. What's going to happen is I'm actually gonna kneel on the towel with my foot up against the wall. So, the towel's there in order for me to put the knee on it. Just let me quickly angle this slightly. That way, sorry about that. So that you can see the towel's a little bit better place there. So, you're basically going to take one knee onto the towel, place your foot up against the wall, then you're going to bring the other foot in front. That's the easy part, okay? The hard part is then you're going to straighten up your back, lean back, push your hips out, and that's going to activate and stretch your quads and your hip flexor. So again, hold it for eight. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Just relax forward slightly. Eight. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Take it back a little further. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Relax it. Seven, six, five, four. Three, two, one. Is it point just now? Okay, take it back again. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Relax it forward. One more stretch to go. Six, five, four, three. Two, one, okay, last stretch, push those hips forward. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Okay. Swap over the legs. So again, probably get to see it better from here. And then move on the towel. Foot up against the wall. Obviously, the more flexible you get, you can actually get your knee closer into the wall. I've actually got a lip here, but to be fair, my flexibility is not great. So this is probably about my range of motion for now. So eight second count again, take it up, push your hips out. So try to keep that perpendicular if you can. Seven, six, five, four, three, two. One, just relax it forward slightly. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Stretch again. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Relax it forward. Seven, six, five. Four, three, 
two, one, take it up, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, relax it forwards, one more to go, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, take it back, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one, relax it, forwards, okay, so that's what you need the towel for is that stretch, okay, next exercise is a lying hamstring stretch, we did a seated one previously, so just hit your hands onto a different angle this so flat on your back you're going to take your belt hook it around the heel of your hamstring okay and again you're going to put your foot flat try and get it to 90 degrees if you can so again eight seconds hold eight seconds relax each time we're going to try and get your foot a little bit Further on in the stretch, okay? Off we go, eight second stretch, foot flat. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Relax it, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Foot flat, take it a little bit further, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, relax it back, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, eight seconds stretch again, a little bit further, eight, seven, six, five, four, Three, two, one, eight seconds of relax, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, final eight seconds stretch, take it as far as you feel comfortable, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one, relax it down, shuffle down. You see a bit better, right? Loop your belt over onto your opposite leg. Again, four eight count stretches on this leg. Then straighten your leg, keep your foot flat. Let's bring it in eight seconds. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Relax it. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, contract it, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and relax it, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, contract it, Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Relax it. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. One last one. As far as you feel comfortable. Eight, seven, six, five, four. Three, two, and one. Relax it down. Shake your legs up and relax them. Okay, next we're going to work on your lumbar region. So, essentially flat on your back. Okay, opposite hand to opposite leg, knee. Head flat on the floor. Just try to keep your shoulder on the deck if you can. And the aim is to try and get that knee to touch the other side, but you don't want your shoulders to lift. So try 
to keep that shoulder down if you can. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Relax. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Contract. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Relax. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Contract. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Relax. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. One last time. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Okay. Swap out the legs, palm flat on the floor, head flat on the floor, opposite hands, opposite knee, just face the direction you're actually stretching. So whichever way you need points, you should be facing when you actually contract, which you mentioned that last time. So, off we go, eight seconds. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, relax. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Contract. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Relax. Eight, seven, six, five, Four, three, two, one. One last time. Contract. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Okay. Next stretch for your lumbar region onto all fours. We're basically going to take it a cat stretch going into what's known as child pose. So, arch your back up, walk your hands, lean yourself forwards for eight seconds. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Neutralize your spine, then take it back into child pose for eight seconds. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, bring up to all fours, neutral spine, arch back up, bring it forwards. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Neutralize your spine, take it down into child pose. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, bring it back up again, neutral spine, arch your back up, take it forwards. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, neutralize your spine, take it down into child pose. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, one last time, take it up, neutralize your spine, arch back, take it forwards. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Neutralize your spine, take it down into child pose. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. So, that's a range of stretches today. Hopefully, that's going to loosen up your hip region. 
just going to stretch off your quads, your hamstrings, your lumbar region, just make you feel a little, ball, a little bit more limber all over. Just feel that you've got a little bit freer movement through the hip region, hip girdle, and obviously you're not having any impingements in the, the lower back from tight hamstrings. I'll leave, as always, all of the directions up above in the text, but I'm also going to inlay all the different exercises and text on the screen as well. Take care and I'll talk to you again soon. Stay safe. Bye.